Hi guys, this is Clara Hudson of Wally Play Designs and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to create a left leaning three stitch cable or a two over one LPC. And if you look at my work here, I have these two knit stitches that are being cabled to the left in front of one purl stitch. So I'll show you how to create that three stitch cable without using a cable needle. So if you take a look at my working swatch here, I've got these cable twists and I've inserted some stitch markers over the three stitches where I'll be placing that three stitch left leaning cable. So I'm going to go ahead and work over to my first stitch marker in my stitch pattern. I'll remove that marker. Now if you look at these three stitches, we want to cross over those first two knit stitches over on the left side of that purl stitch. So in order to do that without a cable needle, you want to make sure to use nice sharp tips on your working needles and you're just going to rotate your work and slip that, that uh, needle tip purl wise through the third stitch on your left hand needle and then we're going to pinch these two knit stitches so they don't go anywhere slide all of our stitches off, rotate our needle around, and scoop those two stitches back up. And then we'll rotate our work and place that purl stitch back on our left hand needle. So essentially, instead of using a cable needle, we've just reorganized those stitches on our left hand needle using just our working needles. So we have a purl stitch at the beginning now and our last two knit stitches. So we're ready to work those off of our left hand needle. So purl one, and knit two. So we've created that cable twist in our work where there's two knit stitches crossing over the left side of a purl stitch. So I'm going to go ahead and show that to you guys one more time. We'll work over to our second set of stitch markers and I'll work in pattern here. Okay, so there's our second set of stitch markers and here's our three stitches that we'll be cabling and again we're going to cross the first two over the left side of the last or third stitch so we're going to rotate our work and use our right hand needle tip to slip that into the purl stitch kind of inch off of the needle pinch those first two pull our, our needle out and then scoop those two stitches back up rotate our work and place our purl stitch back on the left hand needle and then we can work our purl one and our knit two. And I'll remove that last stitch marker. So we've worked our three stitch left purl cable or our two over one LPC. And we've done that without using a cable needle. So I hope this technique helps you guys out. Thanks so much for watching.